a lot of times um, I see breeders and they don't really know what they're looking at when it comes to looking at semen on the microscope. So whether you're getting semen shipped to you or whether you're shipping it out for a dog breeding, um, this is what you want to look at when it comes time to um, looking at semen on the microscope so you actually know what to look for and what you're looking at. So stay tuned. What's going on, Bully Fam? It's your boy, the educator, the scientist, Mr. Double Muscle Line Bulls, bringing you another episode of Breeders Hacks. So real quick, right? So a lot of people think that you can just take um, a collection from your stud dog, from your male, put it under the microscope, or even a shipment. Maybe someone has sent you semen from, from a stud dog for your breeding, and just because you see it moving on the, micro, uh, on the microscope means that it's, it's, it's perfect. That's not the case. Um, that'll tell you that semen's alive, but um, I'm going to show you guys just some key things to look for when you're looking at the microscope. This isn't a full-blown semen evaluation, but um, this will definitely be more um, insightful and kind of give you an idea of what to look for when you're looking at semen on the microscope so that you have a better, more educated uh, you know, lens when it comes to looking at semen on the microscope so you know if you have a good collection or not. So let's get started. So I have my collection here. And um, this is from our stud dog, um, Anger Management. And if you can see, and actually I'll show you real quick, I'm grabbing a little um, syringe so I can pull some of this out, all right? So I just took a little bit out. We don't need much, because um, we're just throwing it on the microscope real quick. But as you can see, look at how cloudy this is. This is what you want when you're collecting from your stud dogs. It needs to be nice and cloudy. If it's not cloudy like this, if it's clear, um, there may be some infertility issues with your stud dog. You may need to get checked, get a semen evaluation done. We do semen evaluations regardless. But anyway, what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your microscope slide, right? Just like this. You're gonna take your microscope slide just like this. And now all you need is literally a drop. Let's see if I can show you guys real quick. So literally all I'm putting is a drop. That's all you need. That's more than enough, more than enough. So put this in here with the cup. And now we're gonna go ahead and take our cover slide and it'll just literally go right on top, just like that. And now it flattens it out. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is on your microscope, you wanna set it to the lowest magnification first. And then just go ahead and put it right here real quick. And as you can see, this is all swimmers, as you can see. Look at that, amazing. Millions and millions and millions. So now that we have it on the lowest magnification, as you can see, we're gonna go ahead and now turn it up to the next, our middle magnification. That's the one I use most of the time. And as you can see, it's blank. So what I need to do is adjust it so you guys can see look at that beautiful plenty of semen all over the screen and i'm going to do some product placement right now real quick because i mean this is what we use we keep the stud dogs on vital sperm and i mean this stuff works amazing this is exactly what you want when you're looking at a semen collection so there's three things you want to look at when you're looking at semen under the microscope the things you want to be mindful for is motility the morphology and the sperm count. When we're looking at it quickly under the microscope, um, we can't really get a sperm count unless we have an eye sperm or we're doing an actual semen um, evaluation. But we can look at the morphology and we can look at the motility. And I know it's a little tough to see. So the rule of thumb when looking at semen under the microscope is the three quarters rule. What is the three quarters rule? three quarters of what you see on the screen needs to be moving in straight directions, um, not in like circles or anything, but a straight directions. Um, obviously moving, not dead, just hanging out there. Um, and I mean, this is what you see here. I mean, this looks phenomenal. See, and I don't know if you can see, but I'm actually moving, I'm moving the slide around. And as you can see, all over the place, the semen is moving and more than three quarters is definitely moving just from visually looking. So that's essentially the key thing you want to be mindful of when you're looking under the microscope quickly at semen is at least three quarters, 70% of it is 70% is of it alive 
and is 70% of it moving in straight directions. It really should just be like, like this, swimming all over the place. This is what you want to see, you know? Um, like I said, you don't want to see them like, you know, swimming in circles and whatnot, but like mostly in straight directions. Now, what I'm going to do is we'll go ahead and bring it down and we'll put it to the highest magnification now. Um, I don't use this too, too much. I'm, I usually use it when I'm like looking at the morphology, meaning the shape of the sperm cells. Um, because the shape of the sperm cells are important. Um, if they look abnormal, that can affect pregnancy rates. We're not doing a full-blown semen evaluation. More or less, we're just looking to make sure that we have a decent collection uh, visually quickly before doing a breeding. And as you can see, this is the sperm cells on the highest magnification. And yet again, all over the place moving. I know it's hard to see with my camera, but like I said, all of the sperm cells are essentially moving. Um, we're definitely at like maybe 90%. So oh, we're more in focus. There we go. So like I said, that's something you just want to be mindful of is the three quarters rule is three quarters of what you see on the screen moving. Um, and if it's moving, are they moving in straight directions? Um, that's basically it. That's all you can do from just visually looking. So I just wanted to show you guys this real quick. This is like the ideal collection. This is what you want to see. Sperm cells completely covering the microscope screen. Not only that, um, but they're all moving. They're all motile and ideally in straight directions. There should be so many on the screen that you could obviously not count. Uh, now, if someone shipped us some semen and maybe now 70% uh, of it was dead, not alive and only if you were moving then we, we we would know we were we're in serious trouble this is what a terrible sample looks like this is what a terrible motility looks like when i say motility i mean the movement of the sperm cells now pump your brakes this is our stud dog anger management but i've had this sample sitting for god i don't know an hour two hours it's not meant to sit out here like this and definitely not i don't even have our temperature on um so i mean they're just sitting out here I have it at like 65 degrees in here, so it's extremely cold for them. This is just killing them off. So I did that on purpose so you guys can see though, if you get a collection like this and after time you've tried to warm up the collection or maybe you got a collection out the gate like this, this is very bad. This is a big no-no. You can see a tremendous difference versus the collections I showed you before and the collection I'm showing you now. So this is the same collection I just let it sit for quite some time. And as you can see, I mean, if the sperm cells are barely moving, how would you expect them to make that trip one day, two day trip to inseminating the eggs? They probably wouldn't, they probably couldn't. So anyway, guys, I just want to show you guys. Oh. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys, this is what a terrible collection looks like. And with some dogs or some collections that maybe you got and you received, the semen all might even be dead. I've seen semen shipped and getting it the next day and it's all dead. Maybe temperature shock, whatever the reasons may be. Um, even if maybe the stud is having issues, the semen could be completely dead. This is just a very low um, motility. They're moving very, very, very slow. I wouldn't use this. Um, well, at least at this point I wouldn't use this. I would have disseminated the female hours ago. But um, I just wanted to show you guys. And like I said, the worst, the next worst scenario from this is just they're all dead. Um, but this is just to show you guys what you don't want to see, just to give you guys a little example. So I just, I've been on YouTube and I haven't seen anybody that just did a quick video explaining what you want to look at when you get either if someone shipped you a sample of semen and you're doing a breeding or whether you're going to ship out some semen and you're looking at your stud dog's um, semen sample on the microscope. That's, I mean, without going crazy, I, I highly recommend the best thing to do is get a semen evaluation. You'll know your sperm count, your morphology, the shape um, the motility, meaning um, how many are moving in a straight direction. Um, we sell the kit for 150 bucks um, on, and you could do semen evaluations yourself or I mean there is the eye sperm that I think is like two thousand three thousand dollars So this is what you want to see and essentially yet again what we use um, to get our sperm counts nice and high is I mean vital sperm um, This is what we keep our stud dogs on and it works great um, and it gives us great collections like this So like I said, I haven't seen anything on YouTube that really just kind of guides you as to like, hey, what are you looking for when you're actually looking at the screen versus just looking at semen on the screen? So that's what you want to look for. Essentially, 70%. 70% should look like average sperm um, that's moving in a straight direction. That's alive. That's basically it. 
So um, you can take it a step further, um, but if you're just quickly looking, that's what you want to look for. So I hope this information was helpful. Hope it was useful. Um, see you guys in the next episode of Breeders Hacks.